Hello, Ralph the Bella back. Uh, we're going to continue now with lesson number four, playing above double high C, or uh, getting the feel of how to play up in that area. Uh, lesson one was introductory, basically. Lesson two, I think we talked about uh, we talked about breathing in lesson two, and lesson three, uh, we talked about the tongue. Now, in lesson four, uh, we're going to talk about the grip. Now, you, most of the people listening to uh, playing in this, these registers, you know, you're professional players or, uh, or advanced players, and uh, so you'll understand what I'm talking about. In lesson four, we're going to talk about the grip. Uh, this will be a short lesson, but, uh, but I think a, a very uh, important lesson. So let's get started by talking about the grip. All right, so on, on the uh, grip, first thing we got to do is we have to form our armature. So you can form it basically the way you normally form it. Uh, I'll tell you how, how I form mine. And uh, these are the things that, that I do to form it and to create my grip. Alright, so let's get started. And uh, there's a few things I, I want to talk about. Alright, so number one, uh, I, form my, I put my tongue on the bottom, the top of the bottom, uh, top of the bottom teeth, the tip of the tongue. So on the upper part of the bottom teeth. Now that supports the lower lip, which in turn supports the upper lip, which helps keep your keep your lips from either collapsing or opening opening up. That uh, is important. One of the important things in forming the grip. Uh, number two is uh, typical that that we although tighten the corners a little bit, you know, uh, when we when we form our armature. We don't, don't form them so tight that they don't move or, or sloppy loose. Just form them just a little firm. Go go way to test it is, is, when, is when you feel them, when you do that, it should move a little bit. If you do it real tight, it doesn't move, that's not how you want it. Or real loose, that's no good either. So it should have a little flexibility, a little bounce back. So you just test it yourself, make sure you're, you're forming those corners correctly. All right, the third thing is, um, let's talk about forming a slight pucker. Like, uh, you know, you're puckering in towards the, the center of your lips. Of course, we're not pulling back. We all know that. Stretching the lips to get a high nose is, is completely wrong. So uh, we're going to pucker towards the front, towards the center of the lips a little bit. It also creates a cushion. And same thing with the uh, with the pucker. When you do the pucker, if if it's loose and you have no resistance and you smash it against your teeth, then that's uh, not a hard enough pucker. If you do it too hard and it doesn't move, it's no good either. So what you want to do is you want to get that perfectly in the middle. And the same test as when you're going like that with the corners. You feel it bounce back. You should feel the center of your lips bounce back a little bit too when you do the pucker. You'll feel it's a nice little, nice little bounce back you get. So now you'll have your corners correctly set and you have your pucker correctly set. Now one of the ways you keep that cushion, another way anyway that you keep that cushion, is uh, let me try to show you. But you, but you want when you're playing up in that upper register, you, you want this, the on the bottom of this lip. To thicken. You don't want it. So, of course, the chump is going to try to flatten it out when we're playing. But we want to thicken it. What's going to happen is your is your bottom bottom lip is going to be even even with your top lip or either slightly under it. That's what's going to eventually probably going to happen. But uh, but think of this uh, this part thickening. As we play, if you look at our pictures of uh, the high note players, you're going to almost always see that. Now, in the upper register, remember to keep your tongue level where you like to keep it. I talked about tongue level, you know, raising the back, the back part of your, the middle, back part of your tongue up, tongue channel, and all that. And uh, but I also talked about not overdoing it because it cuts off the air. So wherever you're you're comfortable, wherever you're playing at your tongue level. Don't let it drop because you let it drop. That's another way to lose your grip. Now, then, of course, the last thing is uh, you never lose that ear support. You know, we talked about the ear. 
you make that stomach, you know, by the belly button, below the belly button, hard like you're gonna get punched in the stomach, and that keeps your uh, your your, uh, your whole body, your, your plane activated, and that's important too. You don't want to lose that that either. It's another way to lose your grip. Uh, just to remind you of a couple exercises. Of course, you can do your own exercises. You don't do any of the ones that I tell you to do, but I gave you the harmonics. So uh, try to think of all those things on keeping the grip uh, with the harmonics. Go a little above the high C, the next two, which would be the D and the E. So uh, you know, in the open position, but do all the positions and uh, don't go crazy. Don't try to go all the way up double high C because because you're not going to be able to keep your concentration. It's going to take a while to get to get. Uh, to keep the grip, trying to remember all these different things, which I know is crazy trying to remember all these different things. Sometimes you try to remember too much, it's a disaster. But I think that these are things that need to be, really need to be remembered. And I think it's uh, you know, something that, that can, can be done easy enough. But it takes a lot of practice, a lot of practice to remember, uh, to remember to keep all these things the way you're supposed to keep them until it becomes natural which takes weeks and weeks and weeks to become natural because you have to over, overcome the way you've been playing. So uh, whether it takes two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, well, who cares what's the difference, but eventually, but eventually you get it. And also, uh, remember we were holding the note, I think we, on week one we started at F sharp, I think we're up to an A now. So hold the A above the staff quietly and as long as you can, do it a couple times. That's it for that exercise. And when you're doing that, keep keeping everything the same, you know, tongue level and the grip again. It does take a lot, a lot, a lot of repetitions and practice in order to uh, overcome maybe some of the things that you were doing and are to try to do all these things that we talked about today. So the last thing I want to say is all these things we talked about, if you lose any of these things that we talked about today, you will lose your grip. So uh, you know what I'm talking about. You felt you feel the grip when you play. You know when something's not right. You're losing the grip. Is what's happening. So uh, practice these. Uh, practice this way, and and hopefully uh, this will help you with, with maintaining your grip. And uh, thank you for watching. And see you next time.